Hey guys, Paradox Cubing here, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the new Moyu Magnetic Cube along with the MF2S 2x2 that were sent to me from Moyu. Alright, so here they are. Cool, so here it is the Moyu Magnetic Cube. This is, I'm pretty sure, Moyu's second cube that they've made. Their first one was okay. It was actually pretty good, but I used the Shangsha cube with ball bearings and with uh, line line springs instead. But uh, let's just get into first turns on this. All right. Yeah, this is way better than Moyu's first cube. Their first cube was like not as fast and it was really blocky and just not like very good overall, but I really like this one out of the box so far. It sounds j just like the uh, Moyu Magnetic Pyraminx in terms of clickiness. So it doesn't actually feel like it has magnets in it at all. It just feels like ball bearings. M magnets obviously don't prevent plus twos. They just provide a different feel to it. And actually it feels pretty nice. I'm gonna do a short average of five or maybe an average of 12 on this skew at the end of this video if you wanna see how it performs. But until then, let's take a quick look at the MFS, MF2S, 2 I always mix those up. So if you haven't heard of the brand Mofeng Jiaoshi, they're a sub-brand of Moyu that focuses on budget cubes. They have a budget 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, and 5x5. First turns on this. The turning on this is very smooth. Okay, so I literally just had to look up if this was a budget 2x2 or not, because it's actually really good. I didn't, it doesn't seem like a budget 2x2, but because it's so good, it performs really well. So if you want a really cheap 2x2, definitely go for this one because it's very nice. Out of the box, I really like it. Okay guys, so it's been about a week, a week and a half since I've been playing with this Moyu Magnetic Scube now, and I really, really like it. It's probably my best Scube now. I don't have the cheese cube, so I can't exactly compare it to that, but I do have all of the previous Moyu cubes. I think there's actually only one version, but I have like three of them. Um, but yeah, I also have the Shang Chao cube with landline springs, which was my previous main. And now this is my new main because it is my best cube now. One thing I do want to mention about this cube is that the magnets in it are pretty weak, just like Moyu's uh, magnetic pyramids as well. They're not very strong, so when you turn it, it doesn't really feel like it's locking into place. Um, it's kind of just like you're turning without ball rings, and if it wasn't for the clicky feel that you get when you turn it, you probably wouldn't be able to tell if it had any ball rings or any like magnet, any locking system. Unless when you turn slowly, um, you can tell that the layers actually lock into place just very slightly, and then it requires a little bit more force to turn it. But if you're turning fast, it's, that's really hard to notice. Um, I didn't really find this to be a negative actually, just because it allows me to be more fluid during my solves. And if you're experienced enough with Skew that you can figure out when to turn the layers and you don't need to worry about them being aligned all the time, then you don't need a very strong locking mechanism anyway. So I think that the magnets being kind of weak is actually a nice thing because it allows it to flow better and just allows your movement to be more fluid, which I really like about this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, this is an excellent skew. I was surprised to find that my main was actually way worse than this. I thought it would be about the same, but it turns out my main was not as good as this. I just haven't skewed in a while, so I kind of forgot. Also, I don't have the Chi Yi skew, so I can't compare it to that. And I also haven't tried the Kong's design skew yet. So I guess those two skews I need to get so I can try and compare it to this. But for now, I think this is an excellent skew, and I think you should definitely check it out if you want to get a better skew or just get into skew in general. It's, it's actually a pretty nice one. So anyways, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.